Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today, and we are back in City Skylines playing some rebuild or redevelop. Uh, I have done some things. Okay, so here, we're just going to jump right in. I'm at our brand new area, Alphabet City. It has been broken up into two different districts. So we now have Alphabet City, which covers roads A through H, and we have the AC Historical District, which I named the park that includes City Hall, the Waffle County Seat. So this park is now a part of uh, AC Historical District. It looks like we need some water over here. Uh, and then this here is the spine. This is a park that I placed in here. If I go to parks, you can see the park here. It kind of goes along this highway here. I called it the spine just because I thought it was a fun name. Uh, I did go through as I had planned and did some interchanges. So the first one, this one here, super simple. You cannot turn in. I didn't do road markings here, but uh, this one's really straightforward. There's an exit off of Scarlet Bridge and there's an entrance onto Scarlet Bridge only for uh, one direction. It doesn't work for both. Over here is a much larger interchange, which originally said uh, Alphabet City Interchange, and then that didn't fit, so it slowly morphed into a change. So we have a change over here, uh, which has a tunnel. This is kind of the entrance to Alphabet City is this like monument here. You have the bypass tunnel that goes underneath of the entire city and comes out the other side. And we have our avenue, which comes on down and skirts its way out. Your exit here, you can go either direction. You can go to the left or to the right. And for the entrance, you can come on to the left or the right. And I made sure that the entrances on the highway took place after the uh, corresponding exit from the highway so that we don't have any crossover traffic. And so far, it's working pretty well. I also added in... Uh, I changed our train station. There was a lot I did. I just kind of zoned out and started playing and had a great time. So I changed our train station. I found this one on the workshop. Um, it's still, it hasn't addressed the height issue with the train line. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I have another thought, which would be that we would take this train line and we could curve it kind of down and around, maybe come up and loop back in this direction. We also have now a metro that connects just from this portion here, uh, right over here. This is exactly what I was looking for, which I didn't seem to have any good assets of, but it includes both the train station and the metro within the same building, which is exactly what I want. So we have our train station. This train line goes forward and comes out over here connecting to this line. I haven't done any more than that. The line still stops here, um, but we now have a train line set up if we need it. And we have a subway that kind of just comes right under. And really the whole point of the subway is for the tourists. So you come out here and you walk over one block and you're at City Hall. So give some extra connectivity there. And we still have two more lines that we could use. So we can start messing with this uh, a bit more as we keep developing this area. What else did I do? I built out this area back here. So this area here is a part of the historic district. I have spent some time making some themes. So to everyone's joy, this area here is all zones. It looks like some of the zoning got funky in between saves because you weren't supposed to be able to zone on this road. But now you can. It looks like everything's still there, though, which is good. Uh, so this area here is all zoned. And then I also have this area here, which is zoned as well. Um, I'm trying to work on them a bit. I'm still finessing them. We've got another zone section here. But I went through and just took some time making three different uh, themes, which we'll look at just briefly. They're all named after areas in Philly because that was the best way for me to kind of remember what the vibe of each theme was versus what I've been doing, which is trying to be really specific. And then I don't play for a few weeks and I forget literally everything. So this one here is just the big suburb housing. Uh, so I only include, can I see order by display included? So this just includes all these big suburbs. BKK housing, I haven't finished yet. College Park uh, is all the College Park housing. Grad Hospital is something named after a Philly area. These are traditionally, at least for our city, anywhere from three to four stories tall. Um, sometimes we get a little bit higher, like five and sixes. Actually, that's more accurate. So it's like three to six stories tall uh, with a few modern buildings mixed in here and there. Written houses are larger buildings. So this is anything above traditionally six stories, 
We've got a lot more European buildings in here. Um, let's see what else we have. We have some of these larger apartment buildings, which I think look really nice, but this is that, not the high rise, but just below the high rise. And then we have South Philly, which is our one to two story buildings. There's a few three and fours sprinkled in, but for the most part, this is much, much lower to the ground um, and a bit more similar to like the Newport area we have in our city. I did mix in some modern buildings as well, which I thought was nice, but for the most part, this is all pretty low to the ground stuff. Um, nothing super exciting here. And I tried to include some industrial as well. So if we go through and do an industrial area that is zoned, we have everything we need. Okay, that's that's the big stuff. Anything else that I did here? Not really. I mean, the other biggest change is I moved this highway. So originally, if you remember, the highway was going, and we'll use a road to show this off. The highway was going straight along here like this. I think pretty much straight exactly. It was coming right to here. The problem with this is that it made this interchange much more challenging than it needed to be. And when I was looking at it, it didn't make a lot of sense to have it join right here because we have a highway that goes directly underneath and connects into this avenue, or excuse me, this other highway. Having a highway branch off to then almost immediately reconnect felt redundant. So instead, I pushed the highway back, trying to follow some of the terrain a bit, and moved our interchange a bit further down. So we have this interchange here. There's a little bit of terrain or um, road guidelines and markings on here. I got to keep doing a bit more work on that. Pretty simple interchange, nothing fancy. But this allows me to really make a tree line back here that was cut off from the rest. Uh, and this is where our forestry industry is going to go. But this also allows me to expand some of these alphabet roads a bit further. Because remember, A Street was just two blocks, which was not, it's not doing it justice for Alphabet City. So this allows for A, B, C, D, and E to expand down into here. And on this side, this is the where J would have continued. So J Street is here, right? And it comes down to this point and then it stops. So what I did is I imagined that I put a path representing the olden days where J Street would have gone. It would have come down and crossed over. And J Street is now going to continue down this way. And we're going to take this, ideally, I want this to get all the way to Z. I'd love to get the whole alphabet if we can. We'll see if it happens. And then finally, we've got this little spot, which nothing's zoned here now. But essentially, this is just a marker for me to remember that I want to keep this as open as I can. Because this gives City Hall this just beautiful view. Like if I come down here to City Hall... You can see the ore industry back here. You can see the downtown. And if we come even lower down into the park here, you can see the stadiums. You can look over and see all of the suburbs. Here's Lidditz and Sunset Heights. All the suburbs that go back here. Will show is like right over here. There's that tower, the weather radio station. So you know, we're working on it. I'm really pumped that this is all zoned and it looks pretty decent. I have been checking some historical buildings here and there to make sure I like what we've got growing. But yeah, this looks, this looks great. I reworked this downtown a bit too. And I think this is a much stronger central downtown area. All right. I think I've been talking for 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It's entirely too much. Let's just, let's just do, let's just do. Okay. So I was thinking that I want to work on two things today. One, I want to think about our port a little bit. And by that, I mean, I want to think about the cargo line that we're going to have with our port. We're going to need some kind of train line over here. Let's bring this to the ground and let's go, let's go straight to here, 10 units. We get a nice curve here maybe and then we're going to send it straight okay now the problem is this is going to be challenging because it's a train line and this area is just not really suited for trains like I'm curious we're not going to get too uh, finicky about the heights right at this moment but what is this we got some crazy ones if i enter that 7.2 if i took it all the way to here 6.4 i think we might have to bury some of this that's okay if we do so we have this train line this here is going to be that cargo line 
coming on through. It's over to here. Now what I want to do, let's turn off this guy. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to send this underground. Okay. It's going to cut right on through here. It goes underneath of the subway, which is great. And I think it's going to come... I think it's going to come out to here. At which point, it's going to come back to ground level. Which is not going to work in that way. Because I think we might actually take some of this... Uh, shoreline here let's let's match this area and let's bring this over and we're gonna engulf some of the shoreline here sorry guys but now we have a new train line right here okay this is this is something i don't think it's bad it's just something all right this is gonna come over here this road does not have to stay here this was more of a uh a trial an error to see if it would work. And you know what? I'm actually going to remove what I just built. Instead, let's use the parallel tool. Let's match this. Okay, so we've got this double bridge moment. Now, for this area, we're gonna have to work on this. Um, we're gonna slope that. I think we're gonna upgrade this one to one of those, which is good. It's a little steep, that's okay. Remember, we're working in some pretty tight spaces, so some of this we're going to suspend some belief. And ideally, this is connecting to that, so I think to best do that, this might do something a bit crazy. We're going to come out 12 units, come over 12 units, and begin to drop down. Keep it to the ground. Better yet, we just have to build it, and then we can slope it down. So we're going to come out 12 units and 12 units and we're gonna come forward actually let's do it this way we're gonna do 10 all the way around so if we go 10 10 10 10 10 10 and then we send this straight okay then we're gonna use this curving tool to go from here to here. 3.2, beautiful. Go from here to here. Can we use this to help offset some of that? If I took this all the way here, that puts it above. Interesting take. I would have not have thought to do that. Let's, let's, let's try it out. Let's upgrade these guys. It crosses right on over. I mean, it's a little wild in terms of how high it is. I think I'm gonna like chill with this. I think we're gonna vibe. We're gonna let this be. I don't totally hate it. Let's try to smooth out some of this and see what we get. If we up this to 100% and we just try to make this not as terrible. Um, there we go. We can try to get some of this back here. Maybe we even just match this height a bit for a second and then we go from there with our smoothing. That's a bit better. Okay. It's it's definitely unique <laughs> to come over this bridge and cross underneath of this. It hides the beauty of the bridge some, but also... Hmm. Also, I don't hate it. I've never built something like this. So it's definitely new for me. What we could also think about doing, let's try this. Let's bring this out, right? Let's bring this out to here. Let's bring this out to here. Let's bring this out to here. And just begin to maybe increase the size or the height of this land area here, up to the mountain.
That's not as bad. Now, even better, hold on. Two lane high speed train bridge network. Technically, this is not really a high speed rail. And I like this, but I just don't like that it's... Okay, first of all, what in the world? It just sits on those slats? That feels more like what I would want, but it's... I don't love that it's, uh... It's only one lane. And that just feels too... Modern. Like, it shouldn't be that modern. I mean, this is what we're working with. I'm happy with that. I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty cute. We'll take it. I am going to make one final edit, which is these two are going to be the same height here. So this is a flat section of bridge. Then we're going to go from here to here, which brings us to 4.1. And we'll go from here to here, which brings us to 4.0 which I will take. We still have room for bridges and, and things, or ships and things like that, which is great. So now we've got a connection over this direction. We haven't actually built anything over here, but I think if we lower this brush size, lower this down, erase what's on the train line, and then let's grab one of our cargo stations. Um, how big is a cargo station? Pretty beefy. It would connect to the end of this. I think it would face this way. Okay, so we're gonna need a road. I think eight might be too much, but let's try it. So if there's a road here, eight is perfect. We'll put this here. And now we have a cargo train station for the first time, I think in this whole city. So we've got a cargo train line. This is gonna be the forestry industry. They're gonna start delivering goods the goods will come down here. They'll do this little loop-de-loop. -loop. I think we need to get rid of that here. They'll do this little loop-de-loop, -loop, which has some very strange intersections, but that's okay, or node connections. It's gonna come right along here. It's gonna mirror the other bridge we have, which is wonderful. It's gonna scoot underneath of all of this, re-emerging right over here, and going straight out this way. There's gonna be another cargo station here. The cargo station can then have a line that comes over here, cuts under the, the mountain. You know what? I don't have to just show it. I can just do it. Okay, we're coming here. This is the toggle straight slope, don't follow terrain shape. Perfect. Because I want this to stay pretty straight throughout all this. This is gonna be this nice sweeping curve. I think we go straight 10 units. And then we do like a big curve right along the side of the mountain. At which point I think we go straight just a little bit more and then we tunnel. And we tunnel through, oops. I'd love for it not to be so white because I can't see where I'm going, but I think what I want to come out, I want to come out basically over here. Okay, now all of this needs to raise. Boop, boop, boop. Send this one even higher up so that it's flat. And then we're going to slope from here to here. Great, so we've got that connection there. It comes under the mountain. It was a big project, but that's okay. We're gonna slope from here to here, 5%. You know, if I hold shift and we just go all the way with it, 0.4%. What does that do here? Nothing too terrible. This area here is a little crap, but I think if we smooth out some of that, we can pretend there's like this natural barrier right there. Okay, smooth this area out, smooth this area out. All behind it, great, 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 great. Okay, so that's going in there. Love that. Disappearing into the mountain comes out the other end. 
Now we're going to need to continue this on the ground. Let's raise it above just flat. Okay. I'm going to want this to go, I think. Oh, I think we're having it set at 10 because that's the, the height it's at, which is fine. I think we're going to have it go here. And then going to have it do a nice curve to here. Okay. And I know that this particular road was not popular for a while. But I think there's a reason for it now. I think this is going to actually curve all the way back around this way. And at this point, it can become level again. And it's going to go this direction. Exactly where, I'm still not sure. But it will definitely go to there. Okay. Kind of surrounding the back of the mountain. Or the front of the mountain, I guess. Because then we're going to have one line that comes down this way into our port. So, to go further with this, I think we need to figure out some of the basic land that's happening here. So updated port area, nice and large, but I think that's what we want. I think what I would like to do, I want the port like pretty prominent. I think I like the port and then I think here's where the shipyard goes. Let's just see if we can even fit the shipyard. I'm tempted to build it and then turn it off. We can. I think we build the shipyard. And then we're going to turn this off. You are not actually functioning. But this is where the shipyard would go. Right here along the edge. You can be over here in university and be like, look over there. There's the port of the city. A maze. Okay. Then I think we place... We're also going to want maybe a... Fa Do we want a ferry depot down here? I mean, that could really truly go anywhere. But maybe we put a ferry depot next to the port. It's going to be the termination line here, but that's okay. The only other thing we have not built is the um, cruise ship, which I realize I might not be leaving the best space for. I'm also realizing I think that connection happens a bit differently. I think these here are just going to connect right up to each other. Turn on anarchy, force them to connect to each other, and then we're gonna just smooth all of this center stuff out. It gives us another area too, but I, I think having the cruise line here would maybe be too much. Or we could just ditch the other thing entirely, this ferry depot, and just do a cruise line down here. Oh, the cruise line's not that big. What if we, what if we ditch this? We place a cruise line right next door. So we'll have multiple ships coming into this area, but that's okay. Works for me. Now, train challenge. Because you're down here by the port anyway, I'm okay with a very aggressive turn. Because... You're in a, we wouldn't be building much over the land, uh, over the water anyway. And ideally, you're going to have to slow down a ton. I'd love to have it on top. I think this is going to come straight along to here. Now we have this built in here. I think we then think about, can I, I basically want to make a fake tunnel. I don't know how to do this, but I, I essentially want to take this flat or as close to flat as I can go then we're gonna tunnel and go straight with all snapping on but like the tunnel what does that do for me nothing of value because we've really like fussed with it okay um the, the coast guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area you've got that to be kidding me you have got to be kidding me. Okay, hold on. Tsunami. You're going to hit all this. You're absolutely going to hit all this. Okay, we're going to have to do some disaster prep. 
I think I need some more flood walls over in this area. Which actually, I think we're just going to use move it. I'm going to select all of this and we're just going to duplicate it because this is a great flood wall. This would come here. And then we'll have one that goes here. So there's an, an obvious exit there. So I think we're going to do one here and we'll do one here. It's not perfect. It's not going to be. Here comes a tsunami. We have got a tsunami coming right here. You can see it. This one wasted no time. And it is absolutely going over the top here. All right, time for some cinematics of uh, this tsunami. Oh, actually, before too many cinematics, let's, let's evacuate the people. How do I evacuate just this neighborhood? Ooh, this area is not even covered. It's not gonna have any food. Well, one thing we can do, this uh, particular <laughs> district theme I had disappeared and so now all the buildings look like this which is total crap so we can place in some protection over here uptown has a population of 5,000 people which means that the small 1,000 John is not gonna work we're gonna need the big guy I do think I need to quickly build out some evacuation routes We're playing three times speed. I love you, city. You look really nice. We will survive. But here comes our biggest tsunami yet. Okay, so um, the tsunami is wrapping up and lots is, lot, lots happened. So um, this neighborhood here, pretty much destroyed. Some areas of the university crumbled. However, those will just rebuild. However, I'm going to ask you guys, do we like what Broom Square had to offer? This tiny little neighborhood that is pretty much no more. This neighborhood has been completely destroyed. Uh, we've got major destruction here at Astor Park. I'm going to also ask you guys if we should keep Astor Park. We were really close to a level five. Uh, we also have lost some houses here in Orterra. Let me know if we should rebuild those or if we should build something different. I'm going to put all of that in the community post uh, for you guys to answer. We have some flooding throughout the rest of the city, but not as much destruction as I was thinking we would have. Uh, there's a few buildings here that got destroyed, but I'm not super concerned about them. Uh, we did take a hit to population. If we come over here, Port Sarepo is totally fine. Uh, nothing here got destroyed. This got destroyed in a, a fire. But in terms of everything else, this all survived um, other than this port, which we always know gets destroyed. So we're just going to quickly go ahead and rebuild those. Look at all the water just sucking back. Like this usually is all the way filled and the water is it's just pulling itself back. Treacle Bay, like amazing, amazing. I think we survived. We can go ahead and turn this down to one again. Let's go ahead and rebuild this pier. We'll rebuild these buildings that need to be rebuilt. Um, however, I don't think that areas like, like all this will rebuild. Well, actually you need to let me know before I rebuild this, we're going to leave this just like this destroyed. You need to let me know. Should we move the theme park? Is it working here? And should we consider changing out this area? Now it looks like some houses are kind of redeveloping potentially. Was this zoned? No, but people are moving back in. So people are moving back into this area. You let me know if we should rebuild it. I think what we're going to do is in the community post, I'm going to ask you guys if we should move Astor Park. I think that is the biggest thing that would might need a to be has moved. The city. Oh Take my gosh. And avoid roads and water we we know. The water we are living it. We are living it. Let's go ahead and turn off our evacuation order. Welcome everyone. We survived a tsunami. It was really, really horrible. All of this, you don't have any customers. Well, they were all, you know, stemming off a massive disaster. So that's doing its thing. Now, if we come over here, our brand new buildings here, totally destroyed. We can turn that back on. 
rebuild both of these. Okay, so um, we're recovering. In the comments below, let me know what we should be doing here with our park. I'm wondering if it needs to move, but that is not a decision for me to make. That is up to y'all. Now that we've had a disaster, let's figure out what the heck we were doing. Um, connecting a train line. I honestly think that that's all we're gonna accomplish today and I'm okay with that. What I would love to do is I would love to create something like this, where we have a tunnel that disappears into the side of the key. Now, can I grab anything here? If I pull this back and we raise it up, more so just so that it's like has a nice entrance. Now we can come up with a way to remove these sides. I might even place buildings here or something and like they make a fake tunnel there. But then this would presumably come straight on under. And at this point, we wanna get over to this train line. So here's what I think we do. I think we, let's go straight here underneath the port or the raised land of the port underneath of this river to here. Ooh, hold the phone. That is not, that is not good. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Delete, delete, delete. Tunnel here to here. I think it's gonna have to go back down again then. And we're gonna have this come out straight. And it's just gonna go straight the whole way actually. And then from there, we're gonna connect up. Now let's use the network multi-tool. Let's go from here to here. We have some really insane 13s, 8.2. 1.2, gorgeous, that's exactly what we want. Um, I'm thinking that this is gonna need to stay tunnel. We're just not in a place to have it above ground. It needs to have, it needs to be too deep. So that all needs to tunnel. Let's go ahead and connect it up. Actually, let's use this to do that. Let's go from here to here. Uh, to this point, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now why in the world are you all, oh, because I have you set to tunnel, duh, that would make sense. We are going to upgrade this, this, upgrade this here to above ground. Okay, and then we're gonna actually delete these two lines and then we're going to straight send it back to ground level, connect it right in. Now, I think what we can do here, let's see if we parallel this from here all the way to before the river. Seven point two. If I took this back even further, 1.3 or 3.1 if i took it all the way back to here we can't undo so we're gonna have to get into it that's a 1.3 that i can do now this obviously is not gonna work which means we have to do some finessing some serious serious finessing let's just make this really big and see what happens if we came in here and made this massive trench that's obviously not great so I think we're gonna have to imagine this as our mountain. And okay, this over here is not too bad. It's this area here. Give me a few minutes to mess around with terraforming and we'll see what we come up with.
Okay, I think that this is my way of apologizing for the train line uh, over in <laughs> Alphabet City. Uh, because what we've got going on here is a cliffside. I'm going to work on this some more after the episode, but I think I'm going to work this hill a bit. This was one of the hills that came with the map. I would like to make this sandy side a bit more textured like we have over here to kind of continue this kind of mountain range. But then this will have this wall here with the train line on it. And basically, I think development is going to come up to this point and fill in this area, which is about double the size of our current city, all of this. So I think it's a good spot to fill in. So we'll have uh, some kind of hill here. Uh, then we're going to work on this little passage a bit because this is obviously, oh, that's that's absolutely not going to work. What is it now, though? Okay, better. Seven. It's better. It's not great, but it's better. So we'll take this little this little hill area here. I'm into it. Okay, so we now have this cargo line. It connects into a tunnel that goes underneath most of this, which I think is fine because there's not going to be industry over here. This is mainly going to be residential and commercial. Uh, and then it comes out over here at the port. A bit of a tight turn, but at this point you're slow anyway because your job is to pull into the station uh, and, you know, do what you got to do. Nope, nope, nope. I couldn't leave it like that. I couldn't. I just... I can't. So I, I made some changes. Just really briefly, quick update. I removed this massive jutting section that was out here at an angle and instead just pushed the whole key back. So it's, it's mirroring what we've done over here, right? We still have levels, but there is this fun, like asymmetrical level that comes behind the port with this shallower, uh, like lower to the ground section here. It includes both the cargo and the, um, cruise ship yeah harbor uh which is fine i don't mind that i put some shipping containers in the middle but now the train line stays above ground so the train line leaves here uses these islands as support so we don't have to get rid of them curves over at a really large curve crosses underneath of the other two lines we have and then follows these lines or one of them at least all the way up and around to here where it then begins to split off and following the terrain comes down this way. The benefit to this is that I was able to raise this whole section back up to a more reasonable level versus it being so deep, uh, which is much better because it actually aligned better with all the land back here. So now this is much flatter and then it comes on over into the ore industry uh, hickory exchange area. So we're, I think this is a much better setup. Um, it is a longer trip technically, but because it's cargo, the game prioritizes using the cargo. And I think it's probably faster than driving the goods through all the stoplights and everything. I think this is better. I'm happy with it. So that's the quick update. That's all we did. There's our port. I'm gonna just like fix this uh, district here in a little bit, but for now, that's it, and I will see you guys in the next one.